Nothing in this life comes for free. There are resources involved, and it has to come from somewhere. We're asking you to make Radio Kansas... Yeah, but there's tons of people out there. How are Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to call our November 14th meeting to order. Would the, ple would the clerk please call the roll? Sure. Vice Mayor Jennings? Here. Commissioner Crawford? Here. Commissioner Householder? Here like to uh, thank everyone for joining us today and uh, as we um, rise for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence I would just encourage everybody maybe to uh, to turn your thoughts to uh, to the veterans that are um, here and abroad I know we celebrated uh, them on Friday but uh, maybe during our time of silence just uh, let your thoughts reflect on those that are uh, fighting to preserve our country At this point in time is our citizens forum. We'd like to encourage any though, any citizen that's in front of us today that has a concern that's not on today's agenda to please come forward and uh, state your name, your concern, or your comments. Seeing none, we'll move on. We have no awards and proclamations today. That moves us into a public hearing. Matters scheduled for a certain time. Item 5.1, public hearing on petition number 4338, requesting vacation of 52.63 feet of platted restricted access along the west side of Lot 3, Block 1 of the replat of Country Oak Estate Subdivision, 5.1A, first reading, ordinance number 11-10624. I'd like to open this hearing. Mr. Andrews. Vice Mayor and Commissioners, this is a statutory public hearing and a report on a petition that's been filed by Country Oak Development Corporation on behalf of Delete Patel, who's the owner of the Comfort Inn and Suites Motel. Um, the shaded gray area on the map is the site of the Country Inn and Suites, and uh, you can see the other uh, items there where there's been development at the corner of uh, Schilling Road and I-135. Um, at the time the subdivision was originally laid out, there was no interchange at Schilling Road and uh, the plan was to have housing all the way out to Schilling Road. And then with the uh, modification there to create a full interchange, uh, the developers realized that that might be a suitable location for commercial development related to interstate traffic. So they replatted the property in 1993 and uh, created a series of lots there and this was the original concept that they brought in and uh, so the, there were three lots there and the idea with the southernmost lot would be oriented towards Marcella Drive. Um, the development there pretty much followed this pattern with Casey's constructing on the uh, intersection of Virginia Drive and Schilling and then in 2006, the Super 8 Motel uh, building essentially um, in the location north of the Comfort Inn and Suites. And uh, in March of 2007, Mr. Patel came in and had an application requesting a final site plan approval, but he only wanted to develop the east 284 feet of Lot 3 and leaving the uh, development of the remainder uh, up in the air at that time. The plan that was presented was for a 12,000 square foot uh, motel building with 61 hotel rooms and a meeting room with 62 off street parking spaces. The primary access to the site and the address is actually on Schilling Road and that's from a road that runs between Casey's and Super 8 out, out to Schilling. A secondary access uh, runs off to the west over to Marcella Drive. As we noted, um, it was anticipated that Lot 3 would be developed all at once uh, with its primary orientation being to Marcella. And so the uh, plan to develop only the eastern part was a departure from that. 
The uh, Planning Commission reviewed Mr. Patel's plans and approved them on May 15, 2007, and there were uh, 14 conditions involved in that approval, uh, partially just because it's more complicated to get to and develop a what is essentially a landlocked site. And one of those conditions was that a break in access for new entrance on Marcella Drive must be approved by the City Commission. So essentially this petition has been uh, filed to clean that matter up and to address that condition of site plan approval. Um, the uh, title companies and, and lenders on the project have been concerned that this item has not been addressed, so uh, taking action on this petition will clean that up. And the process that this comes under is the same as if somebody came to you to vacate an alley or an easement or a street, and it requires notice and a public hearing. Um, in this particular case, the petitions filed by Country Oak Development Corporation because they still own this piece of property and this roadway actually is on their property. So the, uh, the basic gist of this is that they, uh, when they designed and constructed this, they missed the approved opening uh, in the platted restricted access, which is right here. And uh, that opening there is built across where there is platted restricted access. There's no real uh, safety concerns about this change location. It's just a matter of making the uh, driveway location match uh, what the original plat and intended restrictions were. As we noted, the engineering departments reviewed this, and it's basically uh, work that was done in the field that missed the mark. Um, so the uh, the driveway connecting to Marcella, this concept was, and the access easement was reviewed and approved by the Planning Commission. Only you, the City Commission, has the authority to actually approve a break in platted restricted access. And so this cleanup item will eliminate that access control where the driveway is actually located. So as a staff, we would recommend that the City Commission approve the attached <coughs> ordinance vacating 52.63 feet of platted restricted access along the west side of lot three, block one, on first reading. Uh, the way that this would work then upon final approval of the ordinance, that ordinance would be recorded in the deeds office and that would become the official record um, for the title companies and the lenders that that has been approved. We'd also note that there is still access control here and here on Hewell Circle and on Marcella, so whatever use develops here in the future will be using this driveway as their means of access. With that, I'd be open to any questions that you have. Any questions of staff? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. Is there anybody from the public here that would like to speak out on this matter? Seeing none, I'd like to uh, close this hearing and bring it back to the commission for action. Uh, Mayor, I would move that we uh, approve this ordinance 11 10624, uh, requesting the vacation of 52.63 foot of platter restricted access. Uh, Second. We've got a motion to approve on first reading ordinance 11 10624. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes 3 0. We move on to the consent agenda. Item 6.1, approve the minutes of November 7, 2011. Item 6.2, accept the offered drainage easement dedication for the drainage ditch located at the rear of Holiday Inn Express site on West Diamond Drive. Is there uh, any of these items that a commissioner would like to, um, to hold off of the consent agenda? Okay, seeing none, entertain a motion. Vice Mayor Jennings, I, I move we approve consent agenda. Second. We've got a motion to approve consent agenda. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Passes 3-0. Now we move on. We have no development business today. We'll move on to administration, please. Item 8.1, second reading, ordinance number 11-10623, levying Salina Business Improvement District Number 1 service fees for 2012. 
Okay, this um, item was brought before us and passed on first reading November the 7th, and since that, no t since that time, we've had no comments. Is there uh, any comments to come before the commission today? Seeing none, I'd bring it back to the commission for action. Vice Mayor, I'd move that we approve ordinance 11-10623 on second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve ordinance 11-10623 on second reading. Would the clerk please call the roll? Commissioner Crawford? Aye. Commissioner Householder? Aye. Vice Mayor Jennings? Aye. That, it, that item passes 3-0. Item 8.2, approval of the 2012 Vehicles and Equipment Sub-CIP. Mr. Franz. Mayor and Commissioners, thank you. Uh, during the annual budget process, we normally provide funding allocations out of each uh, of the major funding sources that the city uses to operate uh, to be used for uh, vehicles and equipment, uh, which are largely uh, uh, rolling stock uh, although there is some fixed equipment included also. Uh, it is now uh, coming near the time where we have to get the specifications prepared for those, uh, or many of those, and, and out for bid. And so we're asking that you approve the detailed list for 2012 so that we can proceed with that process. Um, we anticipate opening bids uh, for the phase one of the um, process which will probably include the bulk of the acquisitions uh, in early 2012 uh, so that we can get the vehicles ordered um, in a time frame that's consistent with the manufacturer's schedules. Um, at, at, attached to the agenda item was a list and then a, uh, another list, a little bit more detailed list with some justifications uh, for each item uh, that is proposed. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go through that in any detail, uh, except would be open to questions that you might have on those items. We do have a number of the executive staff here. Uh, if uh, you should pose a question uh, that stumps me, which is probably uh, much easier than you might think. <laughs> um, I would uh, want to point out one, uh, one item. The utilities director did point out to me that she was concerned uh, on uh, her item of rehabbing the river pump station, that we're not rehabilitating the whole station. We're doing one pump at a time. I believe the station includes three pumps, and they try to schedule those over a number of years so as not to uh, um, have to bring the entire station down and also to get the, uh, uh, get the timing spread out on, on when those are done. So you, you may see that again. Uh, mm -hmm. within the next year or two mm -hmm. doesn't mean we're rehabbing the pump station again we're just working through the three three pumps that are within that station uh, other than that I would open the floor for questions questions of staff on any of these items nope. thank you mr. Franz is there anybody here from the public that would uh, like to speak out on this item? Seeing none, I bring it back to the commission for discussion and action. Mayor, I move we accept and authorize the 2012 Vehicles and Equipment Sub-CIP authorizing staff to implement the plans and solicit bids and proposals required by city policy. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the uh, 2012 Vehicle and Equipment Sub-CIP. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries 3-0. Vice Mayor, at this time I'd move that we recess into executive session for 20 minutes to discuss with legal counsel matters subject to the attorney-client privilege for the reason that public discussion of those matters would waive the privilege and adversely affect the city's interest in the matters and reconvene at 4.35 p.m. Second. Motion and a second to, uh, to move into executive session. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Do we expect any action? We do not. Okay, thank you. We are now in executive session. <laughs> 